but you gotta get it quickly leveled up. Usually when you're a support, support, you just gotta try to get the seven. Haste on Ogre, this is really dangerous. Oh yeah, yeah, Phobos is in trouble and he got here. Ignite, so. No nature's guys, no way to get away, just a living armor and, and a prayer. But nobody's listening, as in too much of a benefit Dendi right now to trouble. one side or the other. But there he moves in. Dendi, not level six yet. This is the time to strike onto your Storm Spirit. Shackle armor. shot, not anything oh, to connect, it. but he turns back onto Matt and gets the kill there. Well, Dendi go down, he should. Needs another right-click Pycat without the mana. There, he will get it. Okay. Tree, safe play from Ancient Apparition. And now they are going towards the top lane here. They have had enough of Loda as Loda making it go on to Phobos. Pops out. A very nice overgrowth. And here comes the rest of Na'Vi. They get two quick hits and take out Aki. They're going to go for Loda next here. And Jump Forward should finish him off, and it will. Two-man grab. Equal also kill. in nice. trouble. It's three. Big fight for Navi in the top lane. Oh, no. Oh, Venge just killed himself. He walked through the fire back to his base. What no. a mistake. Whoops. That didn't need to happen, um, but it only does so much. It's almost out as well, so DPS is about to oh, oh. slow down. Can they get there in time? It's not going to be enough. They grab the Aegis. They get a kill, though. Barrier goes down first. Ogre in some trouble as well. Denny's pretty survival here with the tree armor. Ends up picking off that kill as well. And I think Alliance is just going to try to get out. Aegis on PyCat. Here comes the A ulti, but there's not going to be a fall if I don't think. Or is there? Stun lands on Pycat. He's getting kind of low. Then he goes high ground, but he's out of mana. And there's the relocate from the Wisp. That is going to sacrifice Wisp's life. But Maybe Loda can blink and get a tether, but I doubt it. That's I mean, they have plenty here to, to stop the, the little ball from getting away. Okay, condolences. Oh, he brings oh, it back to fighting. He's going to go for a fight. Pavos is in trouble. Could lose his first life. Will. And so Nico. Next, very weak and wounded, has to pull back it away. Navi, we're not expecting that one, but it is Havos is able to get a hold of that pe precious Aki, but he would have died regardless, so it still could be very good. Follow up, Niqua gets a beautiful lasso on to Dendi and a focus fire from Pycat. He's got Havos, second life, trying to run. Amp damage, flame break back. They're going for his majesty. Shackle shot slows him down. Dendi no back. Oh, he gets stunned again. That's Dendi a tie goes back. down for the second time, jumping in for a commitment. Oh, no. Now Phobos trying to run. Radiance we'll make it out. Tower uh oh, that was Radiance not what Navi wanted. And have an intel hero and garbage. Navi's first oh, quick pop of the smoke. They see Havos here. His first life could be a quick one. Living armor comes out. Big ice blast does connect, but there's the first life. Loda holding strong here. Havos Great pops swap. his BKB, but yeah, the swap back now. Nikwa could be in trouble. Havos got to be careful. There's the quick He's catch. so almost dead. Oh, yeah, that's dead. it. Focus fire cleans him up. Just oh, does too much damage. And now Phobos could be in trouble. There's a four staff save from Vanscore. Oh, the oh, stun. Big three ravage. Three man stun from Loda. And they are going to clean out the rest of Navi with the exception of Dendi, who is already at the bottom lane. Knock A, of all people, with a double kill. They just don't get crit, so your crit is a little bit worse. And you also can't life steal from it, but now it'll grab on Venge. This is really bad. This one here they need to stop at, but he gets a stun off. Shackle on him as well. Star goes in. Dendi's in a lot of trouble. The Mighty's army gets killed in the two seconds that he's stunned. And Havos trying to do anything here, maybe reflecting some damage to Loda, but more stuns. And that minus armor, it's, look at that. That's a four shot from the mid Wind Ranger. Can he get out? He gets BKB'd up. Oh, see, my God. That was like two quick shots, and he's yeah. done for. Vanscore is going to be next here, and yeah, that is four down. Only tree to survive, and their racks are going down you, thereafter. you got to get the armor items when you're playing Wraith King against minus armor drafts. You have it's to. Ridiculous. Otherwise, you, your, your life is worthless. It's... Your HP becomes worthless, and your two lives end up being so Radiant few. So obviously fortified. the main issue is that PyCat is really Radiant's farmed, and he, he hasn't died yet. That's attack. a big issue, but if you're against minus armor drafts, you a lot of times you have to Dyer's go armlet because it's a hybrid damage a item. Really efficient. You get 60 damage for 2,400 gold, and you also get a bit of armor out of it. Maybe armlet into Maelstrom would have been better. I'm not sure. but. Has fallen. They get the racks Radiant's they want to get as much as they can before attack. His Majesty comes back from the grave. 20 more Radiant's seconds for her. Havos comes back. They get the tier 3, and they're Dyer's super happy with that. Well, he picked as much. He might grab somebody here. Almost. Oh, he actually gets pulled. This is really bad. ALT as well. That's a dead hero. Loda goes in to try to turn things around, but great swap keeping Dendi alive. They might be able to turn again. Batrider finally goes down. Blink forward by Havos, but he gets the amp damage, and his armor is so low. Presses BKB. That's going to help a lot. Actually gives him bonus armor. But look, he still oh. dies so fast to Pie cat and now Ogre is gonna die as well. Yep. Oh man, oh. Dendi double kill for him. Havos with his second oh, life just man. gets blown up. Pie cat unleashing the fury with his bow. Look at the Robin Hood here as he catches out. Nope, no power shot, but that gets the kill right there. Godlike for Pie cat for the double kill on top of it, dominating for Loda. 
Could be a quick one here, Purge. This build is actually so good. I'm so impressed how much damage this does. One. Take out Navi 2. Oh, 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 of all the, the people hero. to get. Good swap save right though from Suniko. Try to be the babysitter. Will pay with his own life. But look at Phobos. Is he going to drop the overgrowth here? Doesn't find it worth it yet. There is going to be a pop. Plus the Ice Blast did connect here. And Alliance continue to go on the move. They find out Van score. And they take him down. Both support. Oh, they get him. Dendi, no mana, nowhere to go. Bash locked down. He's dead. Hmm. Three armor. And other than that, it was just really good fights from, from Alliance. Alliance played a lot of these fights really well. But I think Dendi definitely could have more items here. He's definitely under front for 40 minutes. They're going to fight this, actually. going to grab Nikwa. Big ulti, actually, from the A. Still on it. Dendi balls through as well. Going on the support. But he's just getting focus fired after he gets hexed. And immediately, Pycat picks him oh. up. Pycat's doing so much damage. He's eating a lot of it here. But he's going to just turn on to Havost and finish him off. That's the first life for him. Meanwhile, in the back line, Phobos will go down there after. Havost comes back. He wants Ake. But he is now taking on oh, a lot of Alliance members. And, well, there's going to be the committed Aegis pop. Oh, Dendi again. Done. Moving in, and he has to commit suicide. He is out. Minute. No buyback. See you later, Na'Vi. Alliance, wipe him clean. Only have to lose their little wisp, who buys a BKB in victory. Oh my God. Now Alliance Bad trots sign. themselves into the base, and we'll be able to go for the Tier 4s now. Yeah. And that's it. We're done, Purge. That's game 1 was pretty close, but attack. Game 2, Alliance... It was okay for a while, just the mid-game, the itemization, the... The hero synergy on Alliance was too good, and the offlane Treant just, it didn't do anything, and that put Navi in such a position where the game just ended, so, I, I really, yeah, thank you Slasher, there it is, that's, he deserved that completely, because he wrecked that game, and that item build really paid off, the Daedalus was by far the item build, I think that is, Slasher has a lot of weird item builds most of the time, but that was the most standard one, it was by far the most efficient, he did a great job figuring that one out, honestly. It